Patrick Oneata here, and I am in Orlando, Florida. Not technically Orlando, I'm in Kissimmee, but it's basically the same thing. It's like 10, 15 minutes away from any of the Disney parks. Yeah, so I am in Orlando because I did an interview with the Walt Disney World Company. And I did it for full time. And although I never told y'all I was applying for full time, I only told you guys that I was applying for the Disney College program. But during the waiting period between the Disney College program and finding out I wasn't accepted into the Disney College program, I applied to be full time slash part time. I applied this way because I figured I have a couple of friends who do full time in Disney and I thought, well, hey, if they can do full time in Disney, then maybe I can too. So I applied for that around mid to late December. I didn't hear back until March. And although it took that long, when I heard back, they told me I was no longer in consideration for the job that I chose, which was housekeeping. But they said that they'd keep me up to date with whatever other opportunities that come around. So I wasn't really expecting much. I was expecting maybe a wait for like two, three more months. Immediately, like four days after that, I got an email saying that they wanted me to continue with the web-based interview. I was like in so much shock because a web-based interview is <clears throat> a bunch of questions that you answer to let the company know that you are a good fit for them, that you have the Disney mindset, all that kind of stuff. So I was like, oh my gosh, I've never made it this far. The two times that I applied for the Disney College program, I was always in no longer in consideration before I even made it to the interview. So when I got that email, I freaked out. I almost started crying. Pretty sure I did start crying. And then I had to take a day to like relax, figure out what I was gonna do, get in the mindset of taking that interview. So I took the interview and then crossed my fingers as I submitted it. And as soon as I submitted it, it told me that they wanted me to do an in-person interview. I was not really thinking in-person interview at first, if you want me to be completely honest. I was thinking that they wanted me to do a phone interview. So I scheduled for 8.30 in the morning, a week from then, thinking that it was an in-person interview. Or a phone interview, not an in-person interview. Words are so hard. <laughs> Anyways, I decided to do that and I got the email confirmation. I was scrolling through the email confirmation trying to like see what time they would call, that kind of thing. And it was telling me all about this. You need to go to the casting center. You need to bring this form of ID, park in this parking spot. And I was like, wait, what? Why would they want me to park if I'm just supposed to be calling them? Turns out that I had an in-person interview scheduled, so then I had to schedule two weeks out, and that is why I'm here. My in-person interview was this afternoon at 2.30, and I woke up at 9 this morning, got ready, spent the entire day just ra relaxing, not getting into the mindset of things, because whenever I get into the mindset, I start to freak out and not really concentrate on the actual good side and the more friendly side of Miata, I start to think about the, oh my gosh, I'm a chicken with a head cut off Miata. So I didn't think about the interview until I got into the Uber. I took the Uber. My Uber driver was super nice. He was talking about how his wife was one of the Disney cast member people. And she was like doing interviews today. And I was like, oh my gosh, really? So. We talked about that and he said that he really did think that I had the Disney mindset, which was really reassuring. I felt good. I got into my, into the Disney casting office at one and oh my Lord, if you guys have never seen the Disney casting office, I will be the first to tell you that is absolutely breathtaking. Disney puts so much effort into every little thing that it's like, are you kidding me? The doorknob on the front of the door for when you first enter into the casting center is the little door from Beauty and the Beast. And that was like, that's one of my favorite movies by all means. And to like open up that doorknob, it was like breathtaking. And then I've only seen the casting office from different YouTubers 
and to see it in person, to be able to look around at all of the little gold statues, I was like, this is the best experience I have ever, ever, ever had. Even if I don't get into the Disney college, or even if I don't get into Disney, and I didn't get into the Disney college program, it is such an experience to be here in this room filled with statues and stuff. So I went up the walkway, I told them that I was here for the interview. They said, okay, well, the lady who wants to interview you, she's in a, a meeting. <laughs> I'm talking way too fast, I'm so flustered. She is like, he was like, she's in a meeting, she'll be out soon. So you can just sit, watch National Treasure, and you'll be brought back later. So I sat and I watched it. I originally had my interview for 2.30. I ended up going back with the Disney recruiter, Michael, at 2.15, around that time. And we went back. He was very friendly, very down to earth. He noticed that I flew all the way from Nebraska to here, and he was like, of course you're getting the job. I mean, you flew all the way here. That obviously showed dedication. And I was like, yeah, it was a long flight. It was a lot. And he was like really, really down to earth. And it was so much fun talking to him, like being able to explain where I'm coming from and why I wanted to work for the Disney company. At the end of it, he said, well, if you were to get accepted, I would have to send you an email. And I was like, okay, yeah, go ahead, send the email. It would be fine if I got the email. I mean, I'm not really looking for an email or anything. And he was like, okay, well, you can go ahead and accept that email. And I was like, what? Accept an email? For Disney? What? So <laughs> I accepted the email. I ended up being food and beverage service and merchandise at Frontierland and Magic Kingdom. And all the Disney YouTubers are talking about how they really wanted to do Magic Kingdom as their job destination, how they really want to work at Magic Kingdom, and I am getting the opportunity to work at Magic Kingdom. It's just so mind-blowing, and like, it hasn't exactly settled in yet that I am moving down to Disney in May, and I'm still like in complete and total shock that I'm moving down to Disney in May, but... <laughs> moving down and it's like I don't even know I'm I was to the point where I was about to start crying but literally there was no tears coming out my eyes and then they rushed me through all the paperwork so then I could be ready to go to traditions as soon as I got back in here on May 18th and so we went through all the paperwork got all my paperwork signed so I'm officially a Disney cast member I just have to go to traditions and I don't know I didn't have enough time to cry I didn't really get to go to the bathroom and like refresh and calm down a little bit and figure out what was going on I just kind of rushed 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 and it still hasn't hit me and it's amazing to know that I had the opportunity to not only go into the casting center but to get the opportunity to like try something new and actually succeed at it I've been wanting to do like Disney related things since I was little and it's amazing to find out that I can do them now. Anyways, I will probably rehash my whole trip in another video and I will show you guys a room tour in another video and then I will show you guys Magic Kingdom tour in another video. This video is just solely about me being accepted into the Disney world company and how breathtaking it is to actually get to be a part of something that creates enough magic. So I hope you guys will stay tuned as the magic unfolds.